At the core of Jericho are people who think differently. They are smart, innovative, and bring technological solutions to Air Force problems with the support of industry and academic partners. Jericho Disruptive Innovation exists to support future force concepts in addressing their gaps, risks, issues, and opportunities to bring advanced capabilities into Air Force in creative and agile ways. We will achieve this through the creativity and ingenuity of our people, through the lateral adaption of technologies and the integration of our current systems. In Jericho Disruptive Effects, we're exploring a range of system architectures to provide user-friendly information to our people to enable them to make better informed decisions at the speed of relevance. We're working with a range of industry partners to explore technologies such as hybrid cloud infrastructure, laser-based effectors, and augmented reality. We're working with Defence's Chief Information Officer Group, Telstra and Microsoft, to develop a virtual operations room based around the Microsoft HoloLens augmented reality headset. This headset will provide users with a 3D representation of the battle space, enabling them to make more informed decisions about what's going on out there without the need for the centralised infrastructure we currently use in our operations room. We're working with Defence Science and Technologies Group and one of our industry partners on a counter drone laser effector. Working with new technologies such as this is really exciting because what's better than shooting drones out of the sky with a laser? Artificial intelligence is a really broad area of emerging technologies that covers self-driving cars, recommendation and decision support tools, but also imaging systems that can detect cancers and other diseases. Our overall objective in Jericho Disruptive Innovation within AI is to support our adopting of these technologies to make sure that in the future we're able to use AI in a manner that's ethical, that's safe, and that increases the capability of the Australian Defence Force and the Royal Australian Air Force. So our vision for artificial intelligence is to develop a concept of human machine teaming. The artificial intelligence is really good for dealing with very large amounts of information and operating in a very, very high speed. We want to pair that with the really good attributes of people, including their creativity, their social understanding and their empathy. One of the projects we've been working on for some time is our Amy Cognitive Assistant Avatar. Our Amy system is a bit like Siri. It's a chatbot that responds to different verbal prompts and questions. We found Amy really useful in exploring areas such as training and education, giving briefings and demonstrations, but also quizzes. Jericho Disruptive Innovation is exploring how we can employ a diverse suite of networked and distributed sensors to provide decision superiority to the Joint Force Commanders. One of the key objectives of advanced sensing is to attempt to automate as much sensor operation as possible to free up the workforce that we currently employ to operate sensors to be used for those higher cognitive tasks. The Jericho Smart Sensing Lab is a collaboration between Air Force, University of Sydney and DSTG. It is our touch point into the university for high-end research, which is then applied to defence problems. We have a number of interesting projects running at the moment, one of which is called the Mantis, a dual optical neuromorphic camera system. Neuromorphic sensors mimic uh, biological seeing systems, such as insect eyes, to see things that a normal camera system that we use would not see. I love meeting innovators, particularly in Air Force. They're buried within our units and they're smart, they're motivated and they're keen to have a go. Jericho has a license to innovate. It comes from CAF and AFSTRAT, but it's a permission statement for innovators to have a go and to address the issues in their workplace supported by Jericho. Jericho Labs are a rank-free space where innovative people can explore their imagination, develop their ideas and bring them to life. Edgy Air Force is Jericho's bottom-up innovation program. We've designed this to help people find an avenue for their ideas. We do this through funding and support. Jericho Labs are maker spaces situated on bases around Australia. These provide a space for our personnel to be creative, see through their ideas, hopefully to a prototype that may have an input to capability.
Having a community of personnel that can interact with each other, share ideas and support those ideas through building a product or providing some uh, programming or coding advice or whatever it may be, really helps to cement the process. LAC Shane Darcy, the Passive Radar Array System. His idea is a basic array of sensors that can detect the movement of objects in the sky, much like ADS-B or a radar, but in a passive way. Other examples within the Jericho Labs community are Nick and Rhino from East Sale. They've come up with a number of different projects, one of which is a uh, Steyr training round. We've also got Jack Tucker up in Tyndall, who has been a great champion of the lab and he's provided quite a bit of education, including some outreach to Indigenous communities within the local area. The Jericho Labs uh, plays a really important part in innovation. It's forming the basis of where we create our community, where we come together to prototype and build and develop our projects. There's a lot of different kinds of uh, tools and equipment that are available for you to use. So for example, 3D scanning, 3D printers, laser cutting, CNC's, PCB milling, so we can actually make your own PCB from scratch. So a lot of the time we get prototypes that have hardware elements to it. So things that you want to control with different controllers, sensors, different chipsets. A lot of the boards that are available are for prototyping, but they're not dedicated. So what we can do for you is actually create your own printed circuit board from scratch. We want this to be a collaborative and supportive environment. The focus in here is on ideas and collaboration and skills that you can share. And a lot of those skills come from younger members um, who have a lot more to contribute because they're already starting to do this in their own time. So when you come into a Jericho lab, the expectation is that you participate uh, and you learn. It's no experience required. You just have to rock up and be willing to join in. Being able to pursue an opportunity that you've submitted is really exciting. You get to really explore something that you're passionate about. So my project specifically is the Edgy Air Force podcast. We're going to have three streams which do inspirational talks, exploration talks and skills that you can learn. And through that, we eventually want it to be a raf wide project that anyone who's passionate about any subject can go and inspire other people through interviews and talking and sharing their, their knowledge. The size of the Australian civil space sector will triple by 2030. For us to achieve our ambitious space future, we need access to the best and brightest kids with strong STEM foundations to pursue careers in aerospace. Recently, with the help of UTS Animalogic Academy, we introduced Jali, an Aboriginal girl who has dreams of heading to space. We welcome Jali as a STEM ambassador following her friend Jasper, who had her own story of inspiration for kids who were dreaming of flight. I encourage anyone who has a good idea to contact Jericho Disruptive Innovation and help us help you to create an impact on our Air Force capability.